This is Shanna Sparks with Competitor.com, and this is Competitor Q&A. I'm here with legendary coach Brad Hudson. Thanks for being here, Brad. You're very welcome. I'm glad to be here, Shanna. So when you're training athletes, what what are key areas that you look for when you pick these athletes? Key areas in their talent level and stuff. Uh, yeah, I think that they have a wide range of um, PRs in a lot of different distances. They're able to uh, hold up to hard training. They have good speed, uh, mechanics, um, economic uh, strides at different speeds and stuff. And, uh, you know, they're mentally tough, too. I know that runners are really weak, and there's a lot of weak areas in me personally even. What are those key areas where you find that runners tend to be the weakest, and how can you improve those areas? I think it's different on, you know, different people on what a lot of it, a lot of athletes, uh, you know, when you start coaching them, you want to find out what their weaknesses are because they've had a lot of injuries. But for the most part, most people's core are really aren't as strong as uh, they should be. Um, so we work on lower back and, uh, and core, um, core work. But there's a lot of areas you can strengthen. Um, you know, most, uh, most areas also will go after specific areas to, that are specific to running, specific running muscles like hills and stuff like that and drills. So it's kind of what we're, we do. And obviously the physical aspect of running is really important, but so is the mental. Um, well, how would you tell an athlete to train mentally for a race? So what I try to, like a lot of people will talk to their athletes and really give long talks and, you know, keep hammering and stuff. But I think that... Um, more importantly, I think that the training, the workouts you give athletes um, can change your mental uh, attitude better. I think, you know, doing hard workouts that are going to simulate a race. If an athlete's having trouble, you know, finishing a race, then you work on uh, them, their speed when they're tired. Uh, if they're, you know, having trouble concentrating on the laps, then you give, you know, very long intervals on the track where they need to concentrate. And I think that it's very, the methodology can overcome, can teach the mental aspects um, as much as just telling them to, to do certain things. Okay, well thanks Brad and good luck to you and all your athletes. Thanks Shanna. Very welcome. This is Shanna Sparks a competitor. Come back soon for another competitor Q and A.